you know, we have two main uh, possible customers in the uh, Navy and the Indian Coast Guard in India. Both are requiring a medium helicopter for military application for the Navy and for specific Coast Guard mission. We have decided the helicopter uh, to propose uh, our latest generation the Panther M-B-E-E -E, e meaning Enhance, which is a Panther where we increase the performance, the power, and the performance. You know, the deck of a ship, there is people, sailors, we, we put chains in and on. So, with the Fenestron, this tail rotor, you protect the sailors against the interference, which is fatal generally, but with a classical rotor. As you can see, this is in composite material. It is not metal, which permits to sustain corrosion, and at sea, it is a uh, our best enemy. 50 plus. Half the aircraft is the best. And is that, is that, is that uh, part of the enhanced aircraft or no, no, is that it standard? It's basic. The enhanced uh, amelioration, improvement, that rely on the lender box, on the engine, in order to increase the maximum take of weight by 200 kilograms. Jumping from 4.3 tons to 4.5 tons. Okay. If, as you can see, the vertical fin is higher than the main rotor yes. head. Yes. So, for ship, small ship, we have the possibility as an option to fold the vertical fin in order to reduce the height to the height of the rotor head. All right. It is uh, embedded on the Saudi uh, Panther, on the French Panther. Uh, all right. To satisfy the requirements of the Indian Navy, we have here all the various armaments we can offer with this panther. Here is the torpedo, anti-submarine warfare torpedo, which is required by the Indian Navy. So we can use it. Mission. We can an anti-piracy an anti also. We can install a sniper gun rifle of 0.5 inch, which permit, for instance, to shoot at the engine of the fast boat in order to is stop it, it. Is it currently deployed in any in any naval? Yes, it is a typical. Tech cabin with no obstacles. Here it is in a civilian configuration, but for the military um, employment, we have foldable commando seats and we have 10 of them in the cabin. Four here, four here facing backward and two in the middle facing the door. So, all those guys can... And, 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 and this weapon will be mounted on the, on the side, naturally, right? Yes, uh, the, the on, weapon are mounted right, here. Right, right. On both sides. So, so the sniper would yeah. sit here? Yes. Okay. The MBE version of the cockpit will offer 100% glass cockpit technology. Fully compliant with the use of that visual goggle. All the classical former instruments have been replaced by display, colored 
is great. All these great compatible with the MVG. And we can be level. We can. Yes. We can change the, the image of the display if you want because the rest is interested by the other Okay. So there is a lot of flexibility uh, to adapt the, the action of the two pilots mm -hmm. to their needs. Okay. And, and uh, uh, this sort of glass bottle, is this sort of available for upgrade on the standard, uh, not the newer, not the enhanced version? Uh, yes, we have uh, retro That should be retro retrofitable. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. You can uh, take a former version N2 and pass it to the actual version N3. And when this one will be totally qualified, you can upgrade the former version of the So, otherwise, the engines and most of the other systems are the same. Is that correct? So, the engine is an Ariel engine from Turbomeca. And the former generation was an Ariel PC. And this new engine will offer a double channel FADEC plus okay. a manual uh, backup solution. All right. That means that you need to have three failures to be enabled to control the so three, engine. Three levels of redundancies. Okay. Yes. There is a high, very high level of uh, redundancy. Mm -hmm. And uh, believe me, when we are in the middle of the Indian Ocean right. at the night, we have no possibility no to, to land. We are very, very happy to, to, to have that. I am a former helicopter pilot of the Navy. All that uh, I appreciate very much. The radar for maritime surveillance and search and rescue is housed in this noise right. and has a, a sectoral detection of 240 degrees. It is a color radar which is displayed on the large screen. Back to the weaponry, mm -hmm. Indian Navy required for a rocket launcher, right. so we can install those rocket launchers under the standard uh, weapon carrier right. for torpedo, right. for anti-submarine right. depth charge, for ranging. So all of these yes. systems, uh, weapon systems, can be mounted onto the stand, uh, weapon carrier. Here we have a pod with the 20 millimeter gun, all right. which is also required by the Indian Navy. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, when the submarine is not at a big depth, mm -hmm. you can use anti-submarine depth charge, mm -hmm. which are provided by uh, BA. System. And it is also required by the Indian Navy. Right, right. So, as you can see on this aircraft, which is in the limitation of weight by the Navy, we can satisfy at 100% all their requirements. So, tell me something. Yeah. Uh, with all, say you have 10 commandos on board and plus two. Uh, does the maximum takeoff rate include all of these armament systems being carried at the same time as well as uh, no. 10 commandos? No, no. If you have uh, 10 commandos, you will not carry uh, all these weapons. Right, right. Because, because your the, the mission is, is different. Is different. Yeah. It would be better in this case if you need you mount the gun. A certain protection right. of the commando right. to have two aircraft. One with the troops, right. another one with a, a gun. Okay. Of 20 so that's the standard. On the other side, rockets. So that's the standard uh, tactic that yes. is. Yes. Okay. One is carrying troops, and the other one is ensuring Next. the protection. Right. And suppression if needed. Right. This 
aircraft has also an excellent ship helicopter interface. Mm -hmm. He is fitted with a harpoon, mm -hmm. which is a tech securing device which enters in the grid and locks the helicopter on the deck. And he is also compatible with the, the Indian uh, traversing system to enter the helicopter in the hangar. Of the all right, planet. all right. It is the same system, globally, it is the, the same Aztec. system. Yeah. Right. It is the same system the French Navy, mm -hmm. Samai and Arpon, the same concept. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, they have the same uh, by Mazagan dock right. in the uh, Indian Navy. So, uh, what would you say? How, how configurable is it? Uh, I mean, this is largely a Western aircraft. How configurable is it in terms of uh, network operation? Uh, Indian Navy has selected that they call buyer nominated equipment. All right. So they will furnish us with, with the data link systems, with yes. the comm systems. And, All right. And in this case, you have the link and the IFF. Okay. Maybe some uh, crypto okay. cipher. Sure. But sure. it is buyer, buyer nominated equipment. All right. So, and we commit us mm -hmm. to install that mm -hmm. and to qualify that. Okay. So it will be, by the end of the day, 100% uh, compliant and compatible with the, all the net of the Indian Navy. Great. Great. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much for talking to us.